Hey guys! Hello! Welcome back to Popcorn in Bed! This one's day. <laughs> my little niece, her youngest, told me that I could borrow Raja to watch the movie. And I came into the room and she was like, Carly, you forgot Raja. And I was like, oh, how could I so, do that? Um, my little girl thinks it's a snow leopard. Snow leopard. Yeah, but she's it's like, definitely a white, it's a white tiger. Which, fun fact, I always said was my spirit animal. A white tiger. Well, here we go. Maybe you, you need to have all of this for all our scary movies in October. <gasps> yeah. Except I don't do scary movies, so trick question. <laughs> As you can see, we are in a new space. We are in the process of moving the popcorn in bed studio bed room <laughs> to my basement, which will be great eventually. But right now it's a little echoey and a little bare on the walls because there's nothing in here yet. Uh, what's, what do they say? New look, same great taste. So that's what this is gonna be. So oh. we're watching. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight we are watching Three Men and a Baby. Have you ever heard of it? No, not even like a I, inkling, not even over here in conversation. I've never heard of it at all. I don't think I had either. Um, this was on the Patreon ranked website that we have, numbers 51 to 100. We did a drawing and iRobot was the winner. You seen that one, Will mm -hmm. Smith? And then this was the runner up. And it's, I think what it is, is it's an 80s comedy. Okay. And that's pretty much all I know about it. I, I actually know that it was directed by Spock from Star Trek. Oh, Liam Leroy. I want to say Liam Neeson, but I know it's not. Leroy Nemon. No. Oh, I'm not. No. Not going to try. Anyways, so that's what I know. I think it's just one of those fun 80s magic comedies. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Patreon, Patreon cheers to a fun community. Yeah. Movie Discord, all Discord. that, Instagrams, mm -hmm. and <laughs> bow, bow. let's do it. Let's roll. Hey guys, we are trying the most expensive popcorn in the world today. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So someone sent us a gift card to try this. It is literally $5 a kernel. <gasps> Leonard Nimoy. That's the yeah, one I was going Tom for. Tom Selleck. I feel like I've heard that name before. Yeah. Apparently they use like the most expensive salt in the world from this little Danish island. It's literally covered in 24 karat dusted edible gold flakes. And butter from a Vermont creamery, the best in the world. Okay. You make me feel so good. OMG, it literally has gold flakes. Oh, it does. It's like a hundy right here. A bunch of different um, cute couples. Okay, ready? It's like a hundred dollars in a bowl. I can't laugh. The caramel flavor is very nice. Mm -hmm. There's like a little bit of salt in there. Mm -hmm. I can taste the gold. Just kidding. I can't taste it. <laughs> I mean, I do really like it. Mm -hmm, me too. I'm not always a caramel popcorn person, so that's good. I feel like I can taste the butter in a good way. Mm -hmm. Like I like when caramel's really buttery. I think I can get like a little pieces of salt, like a salt caramel. This is a different too. girl. Yeah. So this is just a bachelor pad. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You have an artist. Mm. Look at that shorts. I know. 80s, ma'am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't get track of all the girls. Don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> uh oh, they're all smitten too. <laughs> oh, I think I thought this guy was the same as the guy who... Oh, mm -mm, there's three. Do we know him for something else? Yes, but I don't know what. Which one's Tom Selleck? I don't know. I feel like Tom Mustache Man. Really? Okay, I've really seen the guy to the left. It's really good caramel popcorn. But $5, $5 a kernel? 
Like if we were blindfolded, we should do that. <laughs> I don't know if I could tell, tell the difference. We move about the apartment of Pizza Mitchell. It's his late thirties, or is it his early forties? We'll never know from Rebecca Davidson. The oh, public wants to know yeah. what an attractive Rizzo. pretty Rizzo, are you sure? Are you sure? For me. Well, he's um, he's oh. charming and he's sweet, but he no. has got the. Is she? Or she's the mom in something else. Thank you, Rebecca. You're welcome, Michael. You can see it. She's the mom in something else too. What, me and Rebecca? Yeah. No, we both see other people. Oh, that's nice to know. Bye, Vanessa. Bye. Rebecca's looking sexier than ever. Yeah. You two uh, still together? Oh yeah, me and Rebecca for five years now. Jack. Oh, Angela. Ooh. Oh, you look different. I'm dressed. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That would be it. That would do it. <laughs> These guys are popular. Mm -hmm. I'm in love in a generic sense. Right. So many women. <laughs> so, so little so time. Little time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not really going to do this movie in Turkey, are you? Yes, yes, I am. Matter of fact, I leave in a few short hours here. Okay, now what about the play in Soho? You say it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. My inevitably brilliant reviews or uh, next month's rent? Forget about <laughs> next month's rent. I'll cover you. You do the play. That's sweet of you. You know, you are a very decent man. I can't believe you draw Johnny Cool. Coolest cat in the world, right? No one cooler, baby. Makes uh, me so happy. What's wrong? David. The guy you broke up with? He used to treat me Johnny Cool every morning over brick. You know how to get over a lover? Dance with a stranger. David's an incredible dancer. He's done it for three years with a Joffrey Ballet. I think you guys are gonna get back together. You think that I could call him up and invite him to the party? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this guy's an actor. The other's a cartoonist. Mm -hmm. And the mustache guy is a womanizer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Arguably one of the best clutch shots of all time. Nobody played this game better than Reed West. Oh, it's gonna drive me crazy. Maybe it's not Rizzo, but she's the mom and something else. For you. Come on, let's go mingle. Yeah, I, I know. That works. It sounds like something sea lions do before they make. I think she's a, a, a politician in something, too. I'm having a package delivered tomorrow. But now, look, I was hoping that I could have this package delivered here instead. No problem. No problem. Do you think I'm overexposed? Oh, no, Jack. Not at all. Now, look, it'll be delivered tomorrow and picked up by a couple of guys on Thursday morning. That's all there is to it. You to Turkey in like a couple hours, right? I don't know. Maybe he's going to do a play. And... I want to thank uh, Jack and Michael and Rebecca for uh, embarrassing me with this unending flow of sentiment. I think everybody had a great time. I sure did. Why don't you stick around a while? I thought sentiment made you uncomfortable. I can handle it, mm -hmm. as long as it's disguised as sex. So stay tonight. I can't. I have to be up at 7 for a pre-trial meeting. Yeah. Happy mm -hmm. birthday, Peter. <clears throat> elevator inside their apartment? I think so. Yeah. I think it was a penthouse, right? Yeah. Isn't that brother milling your forehead? Getting out of hand? Well, as soon as you get a woman into your room, you turn into her big brother and start solving her problem. I happen to be a sensitive guy. What happened here? Somebody die? Rebecca left early. It's, you know, I'm out of here tomorrow for 10 weeks. <laughs> Three of us hunker down here with a bottle of wine and shoot some pool. Okay, he's going to Turkey. Yeah. He left our race, There's a package gonna be delivered today. Uh, some guys will pick it up Thursday. Oh my gosh. The package can't be a baby, right? I'll they... bring you guys something back from Turkey if you're good. They couldn't. He wouldn't. It wouldn't not say a baby, right? <laughs> Michael, get out here. What is it? Is that legal? <laughs> What's going on? I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. Just look out in the hall. Oh. <laughs> Who do you suppose it belongs to? Oh, there's a little note. Oh, all right, I'll just... Okay, play along. They play along? Dear Jack, here is our baby. Oh, no. You really don't know anything about this? I knew it. I knew this was going to happen to him sooner or later. I oh, can't handle this mm -hmm. now. I don't know where else to turn. Mm -hmm, right. Who's Sylvia? How am I supposed to know? He left a message about a package. He said it'd be delivered today. He said to put it aside. I'm hoping it's just ill timing and there is another package. <laughs> well, I don't know what babies eat. Soft stuff. I mean, we were babies once, for God's sake. I don't think she's eating salt. Yeah, yeah, I think she needs formula. I'm going to the market to get some baby food. So what am I supposed to do? Entertain it. We need to call someone. I know. Junior, <laughs> hey, look. Get your little stuffed animal. Pick it up. Pick her up. Oh, 
get a headache. You're giving me a headache. <laughs> it's been like 30 seconds. They gotta be kidding. <laughs> I mean, baby, how you doing today? Oh, you're gonna need some diapers too. Kid, laugh it up. I'm doing my best. <laughs> is this a good meal for a baby? That's for toddlers. Toddler? What's a toddler? This is your first. Uh, yeah, yeah, first and the last. You that. <laughs> no matter how much you prepare, you're never quite ready for them, are you? What's the best selling brand? Well, I know oh, that white can over there. This is the best then? No, it's the cheapest. That's why it sells the most. Uh, uh, how about this one then? Oh, that's good. But it's got iron in it. Is that bad? It is if your baby's allergic to it. How old's your baby? That's about that old. Baby? <laughs> yes, I do. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, A plus for effort. This guy's really tender. I just don't. It, th yeah. It, how, yeah. It's not an instinct, I guess. For I'll uh, I'll give you ten bucks if you stop crying. Huh? I've used that before, yeah. actually. <laughs> I'm like, I'll buy you a car when you're 16. <laughs> <laughs> there you Yay! go. No. Great. Great. <laughs> Great. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. No, 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 no. We're not gonna keep crying. Well. This is stressing me out. I know, it's like kind of painful to watch. They need help. <laughs> so is Jack gonna come back? It is called Three Men. Yeah. Maybe. And not 10 weeks and later, right? And I'm pretty sure it's his, right? Someone mm -hmm. said? Yeah, they said Jack. Look, we're gonna watch it on the TV. Yeah. Maybe her bonnet's bugging her. Yeah, seriously. Here you go. Amuse yourself. Men are worried. Maybe oh. their penis whoa, is not whoa, whoa. <laughs> What a darling little baby. Yeah, someone sort of loaned it to us. Her name is, uh, uh, Sylvia. No, Mary, Mary. We're gonna just say goodbye, okay? Bye-bye, Miss -bye, Hathaway. Wait, the package. Um, this package just arrived for you downstairs. Okay, phew. So it was just... Could I hold it for just a minute? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I just love babies. You are a cute little bundle, aren't you? Uh -huh. You do realize she did a doodle. <laughs> so we're gonna say bye bye now. All right, bye bye. bye, -bye. Why would he not ask for help? I don't know. Maybe he's like nervous about the situation or something. Maybe I'm so quiet that she left and she did a doodle. A doodle? <laughs> no. no oh. tell me. Do they have diapers? Yeah, he bought some. Oh, good. You have no idea how much crap these kids need. How old is she anyway? What should I know? Do you want me to check her driver's license? <laughs> that is stressing me out though that they don't know how old she is. Michael Holder. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, Peter, this is a girl. Should we be doing this? Michael, just <laughs> hold it. Oh! Wait a minute, shouldn't we wash her first? Yeah, we'll wash her later. Just, well, give me the cotton. What's happening? I don't know where they cotton, cotton balls. Just give me a little cotton. I don't need oh my a gosh. package. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. That's what we need, wipes. Oh, he took them all. <laughs> We're gonna need some kind of cleaning fluid to get it off. How about after shave? Oh, come on, Michael. Just get me one of the diapers. Cleaning fluid. <laughs> oh, these tape things go in the front and the back. Uh, how much Did they be about the wrong size? There. Whoa. These diapers are way too big. Yeah, they're ultra absorbent. You get old people diapers? I don't know. No. I'm an architect for Christ's sakes. I build 50 story skyscrapers. These and... diapers are huge. There. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. <gasps> the little insect was just waiting for that diaper to fall off. <laughs> All right. Come on. No, no, just I'm not getting anything off. <laughs> it's like so tender and endearing, but also like so cringe. <laughs> but also, like, if people that have like, younger siblings or something, like, no, I they think... don't get a lot of experience with babies. My husband said he did not hold a baby until our own. Never held a baby. That's oh, insane. insane. Okay, they really just need to get the right size diapers. <laughs> Jack said this is a delicate situation. We shouldn't tell anybody. Can you believe him? Putting us through hell to save his precious reputation. I'm not doing it anymore. <clears throat> no, there's another package, yeah, remember? Another one. And they haven't even had done the night shift yet. They're in yeah. they're in trouble. They're already tired. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Mike, don't let her see you. I know. Don't make eye contact. Oh. They gotta go to work. Yeah. Work from home, Dad. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh. 
Rebecca, you're... Yeah, yeah, I came as soon as I got your message. Jan is a cellist from Hungary. Peter, what's the emergency? Just come with me. This is the big emergency. It's a baby. Why is that the first thing everybody says? It's a baby. Of course it's a baby. Michael doesn't know anything about babies. I don't know anything about babies. I got deadlines hanging all over me. I've been reading these, these books about... Is this like a date? I don't know. You want me to take care of it. I can't do that, Peter. Baby takes very, very much work, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, please. I'm confused about the relationship. He's here. I have got a date. Oh? Oh, excuse me for cramping your romantic style. Rebecca, we be late. Right now, I need you here. Oh, I can't be here oh, now. Oh, she doodled. She doodled. <laughs> Rebecca. You know, they need to call their moms, maybe. You're a very big boy. You're very capable. And you're going to get through this just fine. I hate the cello. <laughs> <laughs> Two more days. No. Michael, remember the other package. He's not going to remember. The baby powder. Get it. What'd you put it out there for? Just out in the hall. Well, we're not bathing her in the hall. Maybe we should start the <gasps> You're going to clean that up. <laughs> I'm loving this, like, spousal yeah. relationship. I think she did a doodle. Your turn to change her. I'll give you $1,000 if you'll do it. <laughs> coming, coming. Does uh, Jack Holden live here? Yeah, someone asked us to pick up a package. I love the way everybody keeps calling it a package. Our next bottle's in 45 minutes. I made it up already. It's in the basket. I'm getting you a can of powdered milk. Oh, yeah. So we'll take the powdered milk and uh, we'll get out of here. They're free for drugs? Oh, maybe. Yes, I think so. Let's go. Guys, so. And she likes to be rocked to sleep. Gently. Gently. This is, no, a human, no. Leave a phone number in case you need some advice. Oh, well, I'll call you. He's got to know that's wrong. Come on, you have some, like, paternal instinct now. Do you hear that, Peter? Isn't it wonderful? There's something screwy going on, Michael. I got a funny feeling. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? You've been tense the last five days. See the package. Mm. Michael. Come on, quicker, quicker. What is this? Package. When did it get here? Sunday. Mrs. Hathaway, go to the window, see if you can stop it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're beautiful. Come what on. are they gonna oh do? Oh my gosh, gosh, I don't know. Where am I gonna put this little baby? Ride it right on your lap, huh? Put it in the trunk. <gasps> Wanna go in the trunk? No. Are they joking? I don't, no, I don't think they are. I think they're actually, ah! Oh! Curry, oh no. curry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have They're putting the baby in a trunk. <gasps> Huh? Yeah. I gave you the wrong package. Well, what, what wrong? I made what you a, I made a terrible mistake. Give me the baby. First. No, hey, no, give me the Take give me the baby first. Yeah. <gasps> give me, give give me the animal. baby. Wait. <gasps> Keep him chained to the wall. I feed him raw meat. Hey, uh, let me see a license and registration. Why? Why? Yeah. Because yeah, you double parked, wise guy. Well, be gentle. Be gentle. He's walk away with powdered milk. Yeah, so he doesn't have the drugs. I have no intention of moving, officer. I'm not a criminal. I'm an architect. Uh, let me see some ID. Oh. <gasps> Drugs. Just listen. Package those guys came for us. Drugs or something with it. Like, why hide it? I gotta show them some idea. Oh my gosh. Anything else I can do for you, just let me know. I'll just do my job. I'm Detective Sergeant Melkowitz, narcotics. Officer, you can get down and saddle up now. Yes, sir. Oh uh -oh. my gosh. Can I uh, get you a cup of coffee, some water? Uh... You don't mind me asking you a few questions, do you? Is that your baby I saw you with downstairs? No, my roommate, Jack. Well, who were those two men I saw you talking to? Friends? No. Well... Of the mothers, they were going to take her for a ride. The baby! Wait, I feel like you should just tell the yeah, truth. Yeah, you should tell the truth. I just love little babies. Don't put it on the baby. Is she going to put that on the baby? Don't put it on the baby. Oh, what a cutie! Um, why don't you put that paper back in the box? Yeah. She's a good eater. Yeah, it's a good sign. It means she won't grow up to be a nervous adult. You've got nothing <laughs> to be nervous about, have you, sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know this guy? <gasps> That's the producer guy. He's a friend of Jack's. He directs TV commercials. And on the side, he just happens to dabble in a little heroin smuggling. I don't know him. I'd appreciate that <laughs> glass of water now, Mr. Mitchell. Of course. No problem. Hi, this is Peter. Michael! Hold on. Whoever it is, I'm here. Uh, Peter! Jack! Okay. Yeah. Michael and I really have to talk to you, but uh, uh, you called us at a bad time. We'll call back later. Oh, don't hang up. This place is amazing. You will not believe... 
some of the stuff I bought. Probably bought too much of it, but what the hell? I can always smuggle it in. <gasps> this is a just, this just is a, a pickle. Nice talking to you, guys. It was very illuminating. Be cool. Be cool. You think Jack's involved in this? I don't know. We got to talk to Paul Milner. Why him? Because he is involved. Mr. Callum. It's Hathaway. Mr. Mitchell. Babysitter. She can sit till five. Well, I'll try and hurry. Me too, I'm worried. <laughs> this is so cute. I know. I got the one with the most dead. <gasps> Call Sergeant Melkowitz and tell him we're moving. Oh, they're getting tailed. Oh my gosh. This is a series of unfortunate yes, events. Yes, I know. I like uh, Sports Illustrated and that giraffe up there. That's a dinosaur. Yeah, that's a pink. dinosaur. Giraffe has That's a giraffe. It's definitely giraffe. It's so cute. He bought a little giraffe. I know. He loves her a little, I think. He does. You're innocent. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hathaway. Put those drugs down. Hathaway, I'm home. <gasps> Halfway, where's Mary? I don't know. Where's I Mary? Know. Mary? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Mary! Oh my gosh. Mary! <laughs> Holy crap. Peter's so tender. Okay, now go untie Miss Halfway. And call the police. Yeah. She's okay. She's not hurt. See what those bastards did to my videotapes? I got a message. What did it say? Next time we'll take the baby. <gasps> Tell the police officers. Oh my goodness. Mr. Mitchell. Uh. Smith, his left eye swollen. It's <laughs> really Sports Illustrated. What are you reading her? It doesn't matter what I read. It's the tone you use. <laughs> oh. Going straight for his opponent's body. Oh, it's the tongue you use. That's <laughs> so cute. It's gonna sleep by her. Oh my gosh. I just call the police. Like that detective, I think will help you out. Yeah. He's after the actual bad people. Do we have a weapon? Is it gonna be Jack? <laughs> Peter, it's me, Jack! It is Jack. What is it with you guys? We should be asking you. My part got cut, okay? Good! Look at this place. Will somebody please tell me what the hell is going on around here? We've got a lot of explaining to do. Oh, uh, sh. What was that? What? Inside is a little note from a Sylvia saying that the baby was yours. And then along comes another little package with your name on it, only this time package has heroin in it. I don't know anything about any drugs or any police. I didn't know what was in that package. God's sake, somebody drops a baby off on, on your doorstep and you automatically assume he's mine? There's a note. I can't handle this now. I don't know where else to turn this. Oh my God. Stratford, a year and a half, a year and a half ago. I would like to introduce you to your daughter. Mary, um, what the hell am I supposed to do with it? It's your turn. Okay, all right. I'm an actor. I can, uh, I can do a father. I can do. Good night, Jack. Good night, Jack. Good night. Good night. Come on. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's what's? Good night, Jack. Good night, Jack. Hey, how do you put on this guy? Anyway, figure it out for yourself, dickhead. <laughs> Maybe I should show him how to put on the diaper. <laughs> 32 Benningtons in, in the London area. Oh, Sylvia, he's trying to get you. <laughs> oh. That's a sad one. Yeah. Well, we tried your mommy. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should try mine, huh? Yeah. Well, where is she? She's beautiful. There she is. <laughs> Are you cutting me? I'm gonna pick you right up. And look at you. You, you pick oh. her up like a pro. I <laughs> pick her up like a grandmother. <laughs> Oh, cut the crap. What do you want? I can't take care of her. I was kind of hoping that, that maybe you could take her. Not forever, you know, until she's ready to vote. I would love to. Do you know, Jack, some people live all their lives without having anything as wonderful as this to show for it. So I'm going to do the most wonderful thing in the world for you. Absolutely nothing. She's not going to bail him out. I'm a screw up. You were a screw up. Now you're a father. You can help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll be in seats D11, 12, 13, and 14. Yeah, if there's a problem, just call. The usher will come and get us. Oh, here's the number. 
He's like the like babysitters. Yeah. Longer than Mary's been alive. Peter, we agreed not to mention her name tonight. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, excellent choice. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Please? Yeah. Changed you? You're not hungry? What else is there in life? You star. Did you have a try? No. <laughs> He's so cute. I know. It's so endearing. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. Yes. You say what can make me feel this way, my girl. Maybe he fell and hit his head. He's probably unconscious. Will you come on and There's start? There's no It's terrible. Oh. Terrible. Oh. Oh, you can sing us a song for the second act, okay? Oh, Jack, where are you? Jack! He's I'm right here. What? What? Everything's fine. Yeah. Huh? Why are you guys back so soon anyway, huh? Uh, we thought that we might have left the stove on. I think that Uncle Peter and Uncle Michael are having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Why didn't you answer the phone? Well, because Mary and I were taking a shower. <laughs> I never put a phone in a shower before. <laughs> uh oh. We are so directly hospitalized at home. Yes, this is your friend, Paul Milner. Don't let this happen to you. Be at the phone booth at the corner of 81st and Columbus, 8 p.m. tonight. I've had enough of this doo-doo. Just give it to the cops. Yeah, we got your message. No good. We do it our way. Because we got the stuff. And if you don't do it our way... Say it. Say it. We flush it down the toilet. There's a, a construction site. <sighs> Oh my gosh. When was the last time you saw me? <laughs> 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 Makeup. And everything. It went all in. Yeah. It went all in. Oh, Peter! You're, You're looking weird. very suspicious. I gotta move three blocks. Turn around. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Oh. Why do we have the baby, though? And I kind of want them to, like, lead the cops to them or something. I know. I want them to get in trouble. You got like our guys, the bad guys. Yeah. Hello, Sergeant Malkowitz. My name is Jack Holden. I think you know my two roommates. Yes. Orange elevator, here it is. Yeah. So much messing up. Why is the baby still here? Where are the other two? You can't leave the baby in the car. We also can't bring the baby up. This is not a good time to do this. Most of them. Michael, they're here. Hold it. What? 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 Hold it! Hold what? It. Just hold it. Were you giving it to me? It's in the elevator. We had absolutely nothing to do with this. We had no idea what was in the package. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, I could have figured that out in about four seconds. Right! Yeah. I mean, why do you make it so complicated? We've never done this. I got it! Great. You're forgiven this time. <gasps> why? What, are you abusing my trust here? <gasps> oh, boy. Things are gone. <gasps> What was Jack supposed to do? I don't know. Really. There's six switches! Oh no. Jack! Oh no. They go any faster or what? You, you punch! Jack! 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 I want that whole movie. I'll wait for you. Jack! Hit the button on the left! Please. We stop. What's the matter? Hey, huh? Dead. Why is this Hold elevator stopped? Uncle Peter and Uncle Michael are gonna be plenty ticked off with Daddy. <laughs> <gasps> okay, okay, okay. This is good. Yeah. Are you, are you the father? Yes. Hey. <laughs> oh, thanks for the phone call. Well, guys, you want her in that mm -hmm. elevator. Everything you need to know is right here. Can I hold the baby? Huh? Oh. No. No. I guess not. <laughs> When the sun goes down. Oh my gosh, the <laughs> 80s outfits are unreal. Oh! Ah! <laughs> These three best friends. I know, they're just like, guys, wanna go to the park, baby? Oh, Mary, Mary needs a little outing. It's time to go. How do they explain the situation? <laughs> it's a co parenting situation. <laughs> oh! It never oh. Never oh. Never oh. <laughs> I love these 80s sped up montages. Me too. Then where will you be while I'm burning in hell? 
I will be a Niagara Fall. That's where. Can you say Michael? Seem to want to stop crying. Do 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 do. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time. I this is leave, not. But, well, it's three o'clock in the morning, baby. I just can't treat you right. Well, I hate to leave you, baby. I don't mean maybe. <laughs> oh, good. I thought she was gonna be mad. Yeah. I didn't know you sang so well. <laughs> Well, you know, it uh, kind of helps her sleep. This is having quite an effect on you. Are you going to have any more kids? I don't want to talk about it, Rebecca. Good night. Peter, I'm having a lot of trouble sleeping. Could you sing to me? Sylvia? Sylvia? I'm Sylvia, Mary's mother. I've come to get her. Uh, just a minute. How is she doing? She's fine. She's teething. That can be rough. Can I see you? Yeah, sure. Come on. Where's Jack? And they can't just like just hand her back, right? I mean, obviously the mother should be in. Her yeah, life, but they need but a like, custody agreement. Yeah. And... and like, what if that happens again? I don't believe how wonderful she looks. Oh, <laughs> mommy has missed you. I never thought I'd miss her this much. Hello. Mm. You should also check her ID. Yeah, seriously. <gasps> Sylvia's here. Mary's leaving. Uh, she looks very happy, Jack. You've obviously taken good care of her. I shouldn't have left her the way I did. I hope it didn't cause too much trouble. <gasps> going home, I can't work and take care of Mary on my own, so... I'm going to move in with my family. They said they'd help. You're going to London? Yeah. <gasps> Fathers have rights, too. Yeah. Mash right? up bananas and stuff? Sure. How can he let her go? If I were Jack, I would not let her go. Neither would I, Michael. I don't think he wants her to go. <gasps> but he just can't admit it. You know, if you want anything, anything at all, you call us, OK? Everything's packed. If anything else you need, just uh, call us. Yeah. Hey, wait. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to Come on, Jack. Good night, sweetheart. What was How how does it work? Maybe I don't know. Maybe she she'll say they'll say we'll we'll, we'll help, help you, and then you don't need to move to back to London. Yeah, and then you can work and. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like so sad. I know. She's better off with her mother. And we are definitely better off now that everything's back to normal. Whatever you say, Jack. So how come I feel so bad? And I have this ape right here. I miss Mary. Okay? Go get her. Get to the airport. I just wish there was something I could do. Well, maybe there is. What? When's her flight leaving? <gasps> yes! <laughs> <laughs> It's like, this is like the end of a romantic movie where they run to the airport, but they're going for their baby. That's so cute. Thank you. Good luck to you. Gate four. All three of them. I know. Go, go, go. Flight 176. That's it. Oh, it's moving. Oh, you still haven't gotten on the plane. Turn around. Come on. She missed her flight because they fell asleep or something? Are you all right? I couldn't go, Jack. I don't want to make another mistake. I love my job, but uh, I sometimes feel like I'm just working to pay the sitters. I don't get enough sleep. Worse, I don't think I'm taking very good care of Mary. Sylvia, we know how hard it is. I want to work in New York, but I can't do that alone. I hope I don't have to. We will help. Yes, yes, yes absolutely. Yes. I mean, you can leave her anytime you want. Thank you. Really? Thank you. Oh, I don't think I like this arrangement. I just don't want to be Mary's babysitter. I think Mary to stay there. I think Mary should move in with us permanently. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. She's your daughter. She needs a full-time mother. That's why we we, we, we think that that you should move in They're too. They're all on the same page. They're so. Do you, do you have room? 
I'll build your room. Oh, that, that's yeah. what I'm gonna cry. I am <laughs> I so, know, it's like, so cute. Oh my gosh. And they're just like three best friends. I know. They're like, wait, we don't wanna be the beeps. <laughs> Look at them. That's like the most loved little baby ever. Yeah. Oh. It's like a little more cute. It's fine. Oh, it's like that destroys. So innocent. Oh, this is so tender. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I think we might have beat our record for saying tender. <laughs> that one. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> it's only like, it was just so endearing and tender. That was literally the definition of a tender movie. Yes. I, Peter is my most favorite. I person and character I've ever Peter seen with the mustache is it is working oh and my gosh and he's like this big macho man this architect but just like the most tender little soul I just I like it. seeing the arc of them being like Ugh, yes this yes. insect uh -huh. to like just loving her so completely I Oh, and like making them better we'll human be family. Oh my gosh, I know. It was so good and I loved Jack's mom's like the grandma's speech about like the best thing you do is like, you know, have something to show right for your life in this world. And they like all get it now. And it's just so tender. You're right. And I was kind of like, well, maybe she should, maybe like she should help and stay or take her for a bit. Mm. But she shouldn't have. She yeah. made the right choice. And I mean, I'm sure she'll be involved. But. Yes. But yeah, it was so fun. <laughs> it was so fun. And like just like the little twist with the drug bust. And yeah, like, oh yeah. I almost even forgot about that part. Me too. It was cute, it was entertaining, it was wholesome yeah. and very sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I really loved it. Yeah, it was so, it was so really fun. fun. Okay, thank you so much for watching along mm -hmm. with us. Until next time. Bye.